Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I am trying probably the scariest beauty product I have ever tested out on this channel. I've honestly been pushing this video back because I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous, but I saw it and I'm like, this is a thing, like does this work? So I wanted to try it out with you guys for the first time on camera today. Now I did have to open the package because there was a little bit of prepping I had to do. This is the empty package, but today we are trying the rechargeable heated eyelash curler. I am so nervous. So I had to pull it out. So this is what it looks like. So it's just this little device and it has like a comb on the end. And supposedly this is supposed to heat up and you put it on your eyes and do this and it's supposed to keep your eyelashes curled. Now you can probably tell why I'm nervous because putting anything heated on your eyes or near your eyes is just terrifying on its own. I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can today but I really wanna try it. So I had to take it out and charge it. It comes with a USB cord but with products like this, like never charge it on your computer. I would just use like a regular um, little cube or if like you have a charger port or something. So that's what I did. Um, so at this point it is charged and ready to go. So I do have the instructions and I do want to follow the instructions because of how nervous I am. But I also want to compare the product. So on one eye, on this eye today, we're going to be using just a traditional eyelash curler and then on this eye because I tend to have a little more control on this eye we're gonna be testing out this product and comparing the two so I have the instructions I pre-read a little bit to give you guys some uh, useful information so really quick I'm just gonna give you the warnings for this product do not use this product while wearing contact lenses I don't wear contacts but if you do keep that in mind do not rinse this with water do not use if a person has conjunctivitis or other eye illnesses Ew. turn product off after every use only use the device on the same area for five to eight seconds at a time interesting so charging the device was super easy the minute it was charged the little red light here came on and then once it was done charging it blinked um so that was easy to figure out when it was fully charged it has 160 minute charge time and a 40 minute battery life so um, I feel like maybe I would charge this like once a week, maybe if um, I do decide to keep this in my staple. <laughs> we'll see. To get started, um, it already came with the comb attached, but it says to ensure that the comb is attached securely, securely over the edge. Okay, so it seems, yeah, I don't think that's coming off. I think it's good. Power the device on using the slider in the front. So I just assume that we're going to, boop, oh. Okay, it's a little red light again. Wait for the indi indicator to turn from purple to pink. Oh, the indicator's on the back. Okay, I was like, that. that is red. Um, there's a little indicator here. You guys can't really see, it's so small. There you go. So I need to wait for that to turn from purple to pink, which will be interesting to see. So then to use it, we need to place the comb at the base of the upper eyelashes. Whoa, that's crazy. It like already turned pink. <gasps> wow, that was quick. The only reason I had a cut is because my camera just came out of focus a little bit, but like that was like, what, 30 seconds? Place the comb at the base of the upper eyelashes and move slowly up toward the tips of the lashes. Slightly bend the lashes and hold for three to five seconds, creating a curl. Repeat for lower lashes, slowly downward. Now, that is the most interesting point and I think the selling point to me. I wear false lashes, so I don't even really ever curl my lashes to begin with. I feel like if you don't wear falsies, definitely curl your lashes and make such a difference. But I was curious about the bottom lashes because I've always wanted to get into wearing bottom eyelashes and I've just never really experimented and I want to but if this can let my eyelashes look better like without having to apply falsies then I totally be down for that um but I'm gonna give this it, it's ready but I'm gonna give it another second we're gonna do this eye I didn't want to finish my makeup like all of my makeup is pretty much done except for my eye liner like my wing liner my mascara and my falsies everything else is done so we look a little weird at the moment but I am going to take my traditional eyelash curler and this thing is honestly 
look so old. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I said I don't curl my eyelashes much because I wear lashes and it just kind of gets in the way. So I am going to, again, take this little guy. I used to be so afraid of these things. I'm just gonna pinch for like 10 seconds. As a kid, I was so terrified. I used to watch my mom do this and I'm like, what are you doing? Okay. So they're definitely curled and I think I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara as well so you can really see the difference between the lashes. So here we go, I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic. This is the same mascara that I've been using for like three years, just the packaging has changed. So if you're wondering if I'm using a new mascara, um, no, it's just, the again, the packaging has changed. It used to be black. So there is one thin coat of mascara so you know nothing like crazy I know that the eyelash curlers um, work and I really like doing this if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup I still like got stuff to do or errands to run <sighs> oh, I'm so scared okay there's no like it doesn't smell like anything is heating up like if you're used to using flat irons or curling irons any sort of heating elements sometimes when they're heating up like you'll kind of get that like singeing smell maybe it's just me i don't know um but i'm getting no smell from this whatsoever i you wouldn't put this like on your hair or anything like keep it away from your hair um and keep it away from your eyebrows i'm assuming but basically there's a little figure here so i'm gonna try to show you before i begin so right on the instructions so it's showing that i need to um place the tool right at the base of my upper eyelash move it up and then bend my eyelash back. But again, I can't hold it for any more than five to eight seconds, so. <laughs> I'm, ah! Okay, I'm gonna try to get even closer because you guys gotta see what the heck is going on. Okay, here we go. Oh, I am so, I'm so scared, okay. My hand, I can't, my hands are, okay. Oh my god! I, oh, I'm so I'm sorry. I could literally feel the heat on my eyeball, guys. That was weird. That was not a particularly. I'm so scared. I don't even know. Like, I want to apply. <laughs> I want to apply more pressure, but I'm so afraid that I'm gonna like press too hard and it's gonna hit my eyeball. Oh, that's so scary because I can. feel again feel the heat I'm basically just trying to like these end ones are really hard to get like, this is kind of awkward okay I'm trying to hold it like a little bit longer I feel like this is one of those products that you would just have to like practice like it's really tough at the beginning but the more and more you do it the easier that it would get the only oh 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 y'all oh can you can you like it's slightly curled <laughs> the ends over here that I've gone over about a million times are slightly curled it just said slightly bend lashes and hold oh and hold for three to five seconds okay let's try to hold it so we're gonna slightly bend the lashes one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi oh sorry I blinked one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi five Mississippi just getting the end right there oh guys this is actually working okay one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi five Mississippi okay to be honest I think this is <laughs> comfortable as I am with this product, I'm gonna turn it off. Let me throw on a little bit of mascara and we are gonna do a comparison and I will kind of give you my thoughts. Um, so let's go ahead, slap some on and then we're gonna take a quick look at the eyes side by side and you know, just see if we notice like any, any real drastic difference. So I'm trying to put the same amount of mascara as well to give this a fair shot. All right, let's take a quick look. Um. Okay, so it's definitely curled. It's definitely curled. Um, oh crap, I gotta put on eyeliner after this. Like, you guys will have to tell me on my other social medias or like in my story post of this video if you guys see any major difference because to be honest, it looks exactly the same. I am really not noticing any major difference. They're both curled. So it works, but it took me 
10 seconds with this one and it took me a little bit longer than this one. Granted, it was my first time and it was kind of a learning experience as well. But just the fact that you gotta like hold it there and then like this doesn't do all your eyelashes at once. So you'd have to like do a section, hold it, do a section, hold it, do a section, hold it, do a section, hold it. Um, oh, I'm gonna turn it back on because I forgot to do my bottom lashes. So for the top at least, I don't think that this would be a product I definitely know that this wouldn't be a product that I would use every day. If I feel like going um, for like a more natural look on a day and I just want my eyelashes to be a little bit curled with some mascara, I would just reach for my handheld eyelash curler. It's a lot less scary <laughs> and it doesn't produce any heat, which is lovely, but I do wanna test my bottom lashes. So this is, it was turning purple. Now it's coming back to pink. I'm just wondering if I can, I'm just wondering, like, if you touch your skin with it, does it burn? And like, no, I mean, I'm doing it quick, but like, I don't feel anything. Pretty sure, like, you can see really, really, really deep in there. I'm not sure if my camera is gonna pick it up, but there's like wires inside of that comb, and I think that's what heats and like prevents you from burning like your skin um, and I think that's a good thing because I was worried about it getting in my eye but like you still don't want that comb to hit your eye because even if it's not hot that's still gonna hurt let me bring you in again Hi. <laughs> let's go ahead and do the bottom eyelashes because that is what I'm most interested in at this point I will not be using it for my top lashes I'm not even gonna pretend like I would. I'm being totally honest. Like, like I said, if I want my eyelashes curled, I'm going to use a traditional curler, but for my lower lashes, we'll see. So let's give this a try. Oh, it's the heating sensation that just <sighs> freaks me out. Okay. Let's see. Maybe if I look up into a mirror, it might be a little easier. It's almost making my eyes water. All right, bottom eyelashes are way harder than the top eyelashes. I think the part that's scaring me the most is like the holding part. I wouldn't necessarily mind just, ah, oh gosh. It's not hot, but it's like producing a lot of heat right under here and I don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of bottom mascara on my bottom lashes because all I have to do is to the top of my eyes, so this really won't affect my makeup. So using the same mascara. I feel like you guys aren't gonna really be able to notice a difference, but I do this routine pretty much every day that I wear makeup anyway, so I'll notice if there's any difference. Um, not really. Maybe ever so slightly. <sighs> not, um, I mean, my eyelashes pretty much look like they normally do when I don't do anything to them. So even for my bottom eyelashes, I think this product was kind of a flop. Okay guys, so kind of my final thoughts before I finish going get ready. It, mm, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll be totally honest. I think the idea is kind of cool. You know, there's always been, um, beauty hacks where like people used lighters on like the top metal parts of these so i think the science behind it makes a lot of sense but it I, it's too scary for not a dramatic result um i'm pretty much i am getting the exact same result using a tool that i'm much more comfortable with that is much easier to handle that does not need to be charged. Like I gotta keep track of this charger for this product, you know what I mean? So I think it was kind of a flop. I think that it was fun. I think that it was different. I definitely know that it's something I've never tried before, but it's also probably the last time that I'll try something like that. Let me know what you guys thought about this product. You can reach out to me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or now I'm even posting stories when my videos go updated, hoping that it'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to leave comments. So I, for one will not be using this but I am curious does anybody actually use this and why and is it great for you am I doing it wrong do you have tips for me I would really love to know because like I said I think they're on to something I just don't think the design is perfect yet so thank you guys so much again for testing this device out for me I am actually so grateful that this video is over I don't have to think about it anymore it's been sitting on my counter just like 
Mm, just let me burn your pupils. So I'm very grateful that we got to get through this <laughs> together and no eyeballs were harmed in the making. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please show me by leaving a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. So scary. Like, I don't see. Right? Am I just crazy? My highlight though.